you're going to start saying you depend on weed and Henny to write bars. Are you handicapped, fam? Have you got issues? Have you, you got disabilities? I can die if there was five alive, like a drink, but now there's only four, nigga. You should think before you want a war, nigga. Roll with travelers, I'm a tour, nigga. And I ain't scared of any nigga. I'll roll up in any single. I love Mac 10s and shotguns, but this time I'll bring the spin on. We're going to the world and up. There's so many people in this world that's not taking this shit seriously. But instead of me making a video about how you shouldn't do weed and how weed shit I'm gonna give you some tips and some help If you are gonna keep depending off that Before I get into this video Please leave a like, subscribe Share this to anybody that's gonna benefit from this And comment down anything that you want me to help you out with In the next video uh, Sign up to my Patreon down below If you want one to ones exclusive content All that shit £3 a slight change And as always this video is sponsored by Audible Amazon Audible giving you a 30 day free trial Link in the description below What I'm about to speak about today is If you're trying to become someone that's successful someone that runs a business if you're sitting there every single day the first thing you think about when you wake up in the morning is weed where you're gonna get your next draw from that's a serious problem and you need to cut that shit down or drop it out entirely if you're spending your last amount of money on weed if you're asking to borrow money of people for weed you're on the next level of low you're better than that You pick yourself up And you stop doing that shit From now on That's a mad thing You don't do that shit You don't ask people for money For weed You don't spend your last piece on weed Money Your plans Your goals Your schedule Should be the first thing on your mind In the morning There's a lot of people That can function Smoking weed On a daily basis And still get shit done There's a lot of people That are successful And smoke weed But the thing is That you don't see These successful people Smoking weed Sometimes they've cut it out For a long time Behind the scenes They cut it out To get where they want to be and when they're comfortable, when, they, when they've earned the right to do it, they can do it. When it comes to a mediocre person, someone that's just from the end, someone's just normal, a normal you, and you have all these dreams and aspirations, but you're sitting there bunning every single day, it's making you lazy, you're wasting your time doing it, you're wasting your money doing it. You need to reevaluate everything, like you can't be doing that shit no more. I've done it myself, I know way too many people that do that. I've seen the ups and downs, the ups and downs. Since I stopped it, I stepped outside the box and I saw what I was doing to myself for years. And you might listen to this video and you won't know. Once you cut it out for a long time, I'm talking about more than two months, more than five months. Once you cut it out for that long, you will see yourself, your, your, your mind will clear up, yeah. Right now, you might think the way you're thinking right now is clear. But when you step outside and you start smoking, you realise you're foggy the whole time. Your, your mind's going to be 100% clearer than it was when you thought it was clear, yeah. When you're not smoking, you're still high. You're so dumbed down to the effect. You won't notice it, but this is what I'm trying to say. If you're trying to become successful, you've got shit to do every single day. You've got goals to push towards. You need to cut the stuff out. Either do it when you finish everything in the day, smoke it in the evening. Don't smoke before bed so you wake up fucking late in the, in the morning. Don't smoke two, three zoots. Smoke a tiny bit to enjoy yourself. That's if you were just depending on it, yeah, and you can't cut it out like that, you can't call turkey it. Car. For some people, if you go call turkey on anything, not just weed, any habits in general, you come back crashing harder, yeah? But for some people, it's cool, they can do that, and for me, like me, I stopped and I was, I was blessed, yeah? If you're not that type of person, you got to do it gradually. you got to do it in small baby steps. And that doesn't give you an excuse to just keep burning it, and then complaining, burning it, complaining, saying that you're cutting down, but you're really not, you're just doing one zoo a day. But before you're doing five, before you're doing two, it doesn't matter, but whatever. You need to limit it, for example, one day a week on a, on a Saturday or Sunday, after you've worked your ass off the whole week. A lot of people keep taking this image of, oh, weed helps you out, weed makes you productive, does this, does that, makes you creative. It's a placebo effect, it doesn't do shit to you. You might think it does, but you're just being creative in the moment because you're thinking weed makes you creative, but it really don't. Some of the shit I'm saying right now has been rewashed from my old video, but I'm trying to make people understand if you're trying to be successful, you need to look at weed as something that's putting you back. Because if you're in the same place as you were four or five years ago, and you're still smoking since then, it is the weed. And I'm telling you right now, it is the weed, so cut that out and see what I mean, see the results speak for itself. When you cut that out, you need to look at it as, I won't touch this shit until I deserve the right to. Uh, I need to become successful when I've caught the ball of money, when I've got whatever I want. Yeah, my businesses are running smooth. I don't need to touch it and it works for me. 
then I can smoke a zoo, yeah, or I can go get drunk, or I can do whatever the fuck you want to do, it doesn't matter. You need to keep that stuff in the future for when you have what you want already. If you're watching this video right now, you don't have shit going for yourself, or you've been trying to get shit going for yourself, just cut the weed off completely, just leave it out and work on your business. I know some business owners that are still smoking weed and they're stuck in the same position. And if you know any business owners that smoke weed, they're not doing so great compared to how well they would do if they were off weed. You've got a life, you've got a business, you've got goals, you've got shit you wanna do. And if you just carry on burning, carry on putting distractions in your way, you're going to be 50 years old and look back and realize you haven't done what you said you would do. Stop telling people what you're gonna do Stop telling people what you want to achieve, shut your mouth and do it. Stop telling people you're going to stop smoking, shut your mouth and do it. The, the worst thing you can do, I've done this myself many times, you've done this yourself many times, you keep telling people what you're going to do. Stop taking the time that you got for granted, yeah? Stop taking the brain that you got for granted. Stop washing it with all this poison. You're going to look at me like a dickhead if you're still bunning. Clear your brain fam, you're going to, you're going to understand what I'm trying to say. Clear it. I come back to this video, this guy knows what I'm going, what he's saying about my mental capacity when I'm burning and when I'm not burning. Just stop, get on your shit. This year you have to get on your shit. There's no more bullshit going on. You keep looking for answers about, can I be successful burning weed? You can't be successful burning weed, who the fuck is? Unless you're gonna go slap some tunes in the booth. Go do that, you're gonna start saying you depend on weed and Henny to rap bars. Are you handicapped fam? Have you got issues? Have you, you got disabilities? Stop bunning, get on your shit, block out any addictions, any temptation, any bad habits, anything like that. It's such a simple message, I don't need to long this video out, you know what to do. Set a goal for this year, try to block it out, keep your head clear and straight. If you're not trying to take in what I'm saying, try one week off, one week. And don't pussy out of this. If you can't stick to one week with no weed, you are a weak individual. That's just all I gotta say. You are, you are a mentally weak individual. If you can't go one week without weed. Whoever's burning right now, try that one week challenge. Come back to this video, comment down below, and tell me how it went on, how you feel. It could take two weeks, it could take a month or two months to, to flush out your system and, and give you a clear brain and give you all the benefits after that. You're going to realise and step out of the box and see what the difference is compared to when you're all clouded up every single day. Bunny, come back to this video and tell me how it went, how you feel. Just remember that shit is bigger than you. If you've got a goal, if you've got some, if you've got something in your life that you want to do and it's got the potential to bring in thousands and thousands of pieces, a month or millions, whatever, whatever it is you're trying to pursue, you've got to understand that it's bigger than you. It's for your kids, it's for your family, it's for your future, it's for your kids' future. You got this one little zoo in your way, and it's in your way every single day, it's in your way of everything. When I stopped that, when I cut that out, I saw everything for what it is. I saw exactly what I had to do to get some peace. I know exactly what I had to do to get rich. Before I quit smoking, all I thought before I quit smoking, the only way I knew how to make peas was trap. That was it. That was it. Literally. Trap. And start a business, but I didn't know how to, I didn't know what to do, I didn't know anything. I just knew if you start a business, you make peas. Every youth in the ends grows up thinking, you need to start a business to, to make millions. But realistically, you can't start a business, etc, etc. So you end up shot on weed, trying to rap, trying to go pro in football, all that stuff. And then I quit weed and I realised, Anybody can make a business. You don't need money for it. You can make money without money. You can do so much shit. The only thing that's stopping your brain from reciprocating that is weed. You can't take this shit in. It's too much for you. If you can, you're halfway there. So end it. If this shit's been happening for years, just end it. This is the end. You can't go into 2022 still doing this shit and still staying where you are. Just remember, this shit is bigger than you. If you enjoyed this video, please give a like, subscribe, share this to anybody that is still burning and would benefit from this. And comment down anything that you might need help on, I'll make a video on it. Sign up to my Patreon down below, one to one's exclusive, £3. And it's the new lockdown. Go gain some knowledge. If you don't like reading, listen to Audible, 30 day free trial in the description below. I get peas of it. You get knowledge of it, which ends up you get a piece of it. Right. Anyway, love for all the support. I'll see you man in a bit. If son gets back, son ain't calling for the rally. Let bro shoot like Leroy Sonny and push your wig back like Saturday or Monday. Bro got grabbing a spoken word. I call him Wally. 
Too flicky like sharp blades And he let the shots pour like bombings Baby telling me that she loves me I tell her hold this junk Wally